Like that, Sparkfire Nation, the JLD here, and welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals with great shows like the Gold Digger Podcast. Today, we'll be breaking down virtual real estate, which is the future of real estate. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Ryan Finch into EO Fire Studios. Ryan is the owner and CEO of First Class Real Estate, the first virtual real estate franchise. Utilizing valuable insights, he has successfully franchised his proven and successful model, empowering the real estate age. In today's foundation, we will talk about first class real estate, what is virtual real estate, why it's a benefit, the pros, maybe even a con or two, if I can squeeze one out of him. We're going to talk about success stories and so much more. And a big thank you for Watching today's episode goes to Ryan and our sponsors. Online Marketing Made Easy podcast, hosted by Amy Porterfield, is brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals with a focus on online business, including digital courses, list building, content, and more. Online Marketing Made Easy breaks down big ideas and strategies into actionable step-by-step processes. A recent episode that will help you get more results with a whole lot less stress is on four ways to avoid burnout. Listen to Online Marketing Made Easy wherever you get your podcasts. Leveraging fractional staffing might just be the key to unlocking growth for you and your business. Get started today with an exclusive offer from Belay. Download their latest resource, The Power of Productivity, for free. Just text FIRE to 55123. That's F-I-R-E to 55123 to get started. Ryan, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something that you believe about becoming successful that most people disagree with. Hey, what's up? Uh, Thanks for having me on here. I appreciate it. People think pushing through is the way to find success. You know, you've got to push through the obstacles and the things that are there. And, you know, I think it's it's different than that. It's really, you've got to go back to where it is you quit being successful. And going back to it is really what's going to lead to success, not trying to push through from where you are, but going back to wherever you stopped on that vision and wherever you stopped um, following the steps towards success. Fire Nation, we're talking about virtual real estate, the future of real estate. And before we talk about the future, Ryan, I want to talk about the past. How the heck did you get started in real estate? Essentially what happened is I ended up going to church uh, with this guy and uh, he drives up in this Cadillac Escalade and you know I was a plumber. I ended up seeing what he was doing and what was going on and I said, I want that. And so I went up to him and I said, hey, how do I get into what you're, what you're doing and how do I do this? And he's like, yeah, I, you know, I run a real estate team and you know, yeah, you can join on. But I had to quit my job cold turkey and, and jump into real estate. But you saw that Cadillac Escalade, you saw the road to success, you saw the fruits of the labor of this individual, and you said, you know what, looks like a mentor in the making. But you still had an aha moment at some point, which led you to create first class real estate. What was that aha moment? Walk us through that. Ultimately, what happened with first class is I just decided I I wanted to set up something that was different than what everyone was doing. And um you know, I wanted it to, to be my own office. I knew that I had to go from being an agent to being on a team to really running my own company. And, you know, it's part of just an evolution of growth. And, and it was just the next steps for me. What was the obvious reason that first class real estate had to exist? Looking back on it now, you know, I can see that we were paving the way, that we were figuring out some things and going through the problems and the bumps and bruises to really set it up for the next level of business. What exactly is virtual real estate? For us, we've set up a technology that's all interconnected that allows people to run real estate brokerages nationwide. And you know, there's other corporate companies out there that really have have done this and set this up. But what we did is we set it up on a really skinny model that allows people to scale and uh, and and really lower lower cost. So so the lower cost allows people to go in to do that. COVID really set the bar for us. Uh, or, or set the tone for us to be able to do this. As we figured out how to navigate through COVID, we realized we were onto something that could really grow and scale. So for people who are listening that are still like, this guy is not really explaining this very well at all. What do they need to understand about what it is your business does, what the potential benefits are for them as individuals? 
people are paying money to be at brokerages. So they're either an agent or they're running a real estate team or you know anybody like that that's, that's in the real estate industry is at a real estate office. Well, what's happening is they have a real estate office, they have a broker, they have a technology. There's all these layers that are set up to it. And we've made it where they can essentially just fast track and for less cost because we charge $50 an agent a month and $150 transaction fee, they can jump in and take this model and run with it. Then from there, they can add other agents to their company. They can add other agents that are getting leads or training. They can add agents that are 100%. And so they have the ability to grow and, and scale really, really rapidly because we run all the infrastructure for the onboarding, the closing coordination, the technology, um, and, and the support. For all of that's done here from what we call our resource center. So that definitely clears up some questions that I know a lot of people are having, but let's continue to talk about some pros, some benefits of doing this. I mean, right now people are probably comfortable in their current situation, their traditional setup. Why should they move? They want to own their own brokerage. And so what we say around here is that your one number one job is to not have a job. And so we've set up a business model that allows people to build a business that's sellable. If they made $200,000 a year um, selling real estate this year, and then they wanted to go into next year, they've got to now sell again and sell again and sell again. We want and we built a model to help them get out of that rat race. Another one would be we've actually even on top of connecting all the technology, we've set up ancillary business models. And so you can set up a mortgage company or a title company and things like that are going to make it where they're going to make ancillary revenues because as they scale and grow their, their real estate office and that value, they're also going to be able to add in mortgage and title or other ancillaries to grow cash flow. In most things in life, there are pros and there are cons. Are there any cons whatsoever with what you do in this world? The cons of it are you're going to go from working with buyers and sellers to recruiting agents. And that's usually uh, the number one thing that stops people from from looking to do this because they can find success in real estate. They don't really want to depend on what other people do. Um, and so they, they're worried about that success. So that would be the downside. Uh, but ultimately, it's really a level up to be able to do sales, sales on helping a buyer buy a home or sell a home. The reason that they would want to um, utilize you is because you provide a value to them. By adding in this uh, other layer, you're able to help other real estate agents offer that same value. So it adds a multiplier and that really is a, a key to your growth and development, ultimately selling them on your ability to grow and scale their business. Fire Nation, we're going to dive deeper into this model as well as talk about some success stories and more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Expectations are at an all-time high these days for sales leaders and sales teams. Beyond your daily cold calls, the relationship building, and actually closing deals, you're also expected to leverage a slew of different tech to-dos. If you're not digging into the numbers, monitoring the best strategies, and switching it up when things aren't working, and collaborating across other teams within your company, then you're not on your A-game. Sounds pretty exhausting, right? Here's the good news. There's a better way to win. It all starts with the new HubSpot Sales Hub. HubSpot Sales Hub unifies your data tools and team inside a smart and powerful platform that includes a new prospecting workspace, deal management tools, and AI power tools to help reps optimize based off real-time results and add a bonus. Reps can automate their busy work so they can focus on doing what they do best, closing deals. It's smart software for smart sales teams that feels good to use. With Sales Hub, closing deals is no big deal. Try it for yourself at hubspot.com slash sales. Successful entrepreneurs are always looking for ways to maximize efficiency and increase productivity, especially in a startup environment. Maybe you've taken a few steps towards this goal by automating tasks with AI or finally nailing down a morning routine that gives you energy to crush your day. While these things definitely help, the best way to increase efficiency and productivity is to work on what you're best at and delegate the rest. Belay has been helping entrepreneurs increase productivity and scale their businesses for over a decade. Leveraging fractional staffing might just be the key to unlocking growth for you and your business. Belay has the help you need in so many areas, including virtual assistants, bookkeepers, social media managers, and more. Stop wasting time on tedious tasks that are better done by someone else. Delegate with Belay and watch your productivity soar. To help get you started, Belay is exclusively offering Fire Nation their latest resource, The Power of Productivity, for free. It's full of practical tips and tools to help you increase your productivity and make the most of your time to grow your business. Text FIRE to 55123. That's F-I-R-E to 
888-558-5123 to get started. Ryan, we're back and you believe the virtual franchise model enables brokers and team leaders to expand their businesses to markets across the country. How is this possible? Well, ultimately, we've already set up. So we're in, I think, like 27 states right now. So if we're able to do business, and we could obviously open in in the other states quickly if we had someone that was looking to open. But um, if we can run and scale that way, we're running everything centralized. So by by us centralizing all the services here, we've gotten the cost of it down, and we've added automation and a system to doing it. So they can grow and scale quickly. If if they wanted, they could take one corporate uh, location of their own, use our technology and then roll across every state and add MLSs and brokers and boom, they would be in any market they wanted to. And, and they're scaling quickly. We, you know, we, we say the same thing that, that many people that grow businesses say, which is uh, simple scales and fancy fails. We're not trying to be fancy. We keep it simple. And by simplifying this process, we've made it where people can scale really quickly. Simple scales and fancy fails. Love that phrase, Fire Nation. Keep that close to the vest. And Ryan, I love success stories and so does Fire Nation. So give us two different success stories within first class real estate that your agents have experienced. We had uh, an agent that we had one of our offices recruited and brought in. And so that office ends up adding in leads and values and training. And they brought that agent in and she became the number one agent in the company in her first year um, in real estate. And so, you know, a lot of times we think that we'll be able to bring other agents in or we're looking for producing people. But somebody that was brand new in real estate was able to jump in, plug in, follow the training, get the leads and the systems and scale up really, really quickly. I think she was at one point hitting 10 transactions uh, a month uh, on her own. Okay. That was one example. Let's hear another. Somebody that wanted to start a team and they, they ended up coming in, they started a team, they added like 10 agents, got production up and going, and then was able to even peel out and open up their own location. And so, you know, from going from that to from running a team or starting a team to really running their own office, and I think it was within inside of a year. Uh, that was a, that was huge agent wise. You know, we have a lot of other success stories as it pertains to like franchisees as well. So Ryan, take a step back now, take the microphone, because Fire Nation is an audience built up of entrepreneurs, small business owners, people that are looking for opportunities, that are looking for the right next step. What do you want to say to listeners like that? You know, I look at everything I do as really business coaching, you know, and so ultimately everything that works and applies for a real estate office, you could run it for a hamburger stand or anything. And so I keep a lot of things as key bullet points and I could rattle off a couple of them and then expound on them if, if you think that'd be a value. Absolutely. All right. So the first one is leave the profit. If you're not running a nonprofit company, then obviously you're leading with profit. You've got to make every business decision using profit. Too many people try and spend, spend, spend. They go get a big office space, but they don't have the revenue coming in to cover that, but they see the future and know that it's eventually going to be needed. We say leave with profit and stay close to the numbers. Uh, the next one, 50x rule. And so, you know, you've probably heard Grant Cardone talks about 10x. You, if you want to make, you know, a uh, hundred thousand dollars, you need to aim for a million dollars, right? And so, what we look at is what's called a 50x rule. We don't spend time on things unless you're going to get a multiplier 50 times, right? So, if you can't get, if you go buy a rental property, you can collect a check 50 times, right? If you go help a buyer buy a home, we don't want them to do that because that's a one-off and one and done, right? And so, what we want to be able to do is go hire an agent, and that agent can then do 50 transactions. So it doesn't mean everything is going to equal 50, but we always want a multiplier, right? So if you're working on things in your business that are one-off, you're just doing a job. And if our job is to not have a job, then we have to do things that build and scale. Um, one of the next one, this one's pretty easy uh, and pretty basic, but I see a lot of people fail at that, and it's staying overbooked. You're using your calendar, filling up your day, maximizing the time. They have too much downtime when they need to stay overbooked, and once they're staying overbooked, they can roll from one meeting to the next to the next, and that essentially builds a momentum and a hustle that becomes contagious. Um, another one, make it a game. Everything has to have a scoreboard uh, and and inside of your business, whether that's people that work there on a salary or they have a job of sales or anything like that. It has to be a game. It has to be a game for you and it has to be a game for everybody. We had in the plumbing industry, we used to um, race 
putting pipe in on each side and we'd see who could put in the most pipe for what we were doing when we were running the pipe is see who could run the most feet before lunch and then after lunch. So it became a game. And now the winner of that was obviously our, our employer, but we made it a game. So it made it fun to us. We were already going to be there. We we're doing the work and now we're hustling to go do it. And, and it essentially made it a lot more fun and made a lot more success. MOE marketing over everything. Too many people are afraid somebody else is doing more than them or better than them. They've got to get out there and market. You've got to market. You've got to find, like you asked me about the success stories. They've got to find their success stories and they've got to market them, right? And look for those little wins and then market those over and over. The person in our industry we talk about, somebody that does three transactions in a month and somebody that does one, the person who does one and markets it looks greater and has more momentum than the person who did three, right? Because the consumer on the outside or the audience on the outside of the marketing can't see the transactions of the person who didn't market it, right? So you're, you're looking for that. Uh, one of the other ones, perfection is the killer of profit, all right? So people are always trying to get ready to get ready. They've got to stop doing that. They've got to go bring in revenue. Um, this guy I, I used to do business with, with we, he ran a construction company and I was introducing him one time to somebody and I said, hey, you know, so-and-so hand him your business card. And he said, he said, I don't have one. Now this guy did millions of dollars a month in construction, right? And so I said, when in the world, you don't have a business card. He's like, man, I didn't go get business cards to do that. I went to go connect with people that were doing business and I connect with them. They do business and we do it. We trade phone numbers on our phone. I really don't need a business card. Now this was probably 10 or so years ago, but it really stood out to me um, because he, he wasn't, um, he wasn't trying to, to run the um, thing that you would think of with the business cards and stuff like that. He wanted to just go in there and get business. Fire Nation, these are some killer takeaways from a person that's right now currently having success in his lane in business. And Ryan, if you wanted to kind of step back and give Fire Nation the one key takeaway that you really believe our listeners need to understand, what would that key takeaway be? You can start from anywhere and you can end up wherever it is you want by following some of these key principles we've talked about, um, sticking close to the to the numbers. Uh, leading with profit, finding an opportunity that works well for you, finding a, a leading edge opportunity that's out there, and then really applying yourself, making it a game, uh, staying overbooked and, uh, and leveraging. Now, if Fire Nation wanted to connect with you, with your business, what is your call to action for our listeners today? We have so many different opportunities. We have an area rep opportunity, a franchise opportunity. We have agent opportunities. We have people that are buying and selling real estate. So a lot of those opportunities are set up where they can go to our first class uh, real estate website. And on there, they can pick any of those opportunities. And then through there, obviously, that circles all the way back to me. Just to, just tells me a little bit more about who I'm talking to. They also can go in and download if the real estate agents, we have um, free recruiting guides, listing presentation, buyer presentations. All of that stuff is on there. We have uh, other pages of content that has uh, things on our YouTube channel so they can get any of that value that they wanted as well. So one more time, what is that direct URL? Firstclassrealestate.com. Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with and you have been hanging out with RF and JLD today, so keep up the heat. For links to everything that we talked about today, visit eofire.com. Type Ryan, that's R-H-Y-A-N, in the search bar and the show notes page will pop right up. And Ryan, thank you for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation, a huge thank you to our sponsors and Ryan for sponsoring today's episode. And Fire Nation, over the last decade, I've interviewed more than 3,000 of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, and I've created a revolutionary 17-step roadmap to your financial freedom and fulfillment. I put it all into my first traditionally published book, The Common Path to Uncommon Success, personally endorsed by Seth Godin and Gary Vaynerchuk. The Common Path to Uncommon Success is the step-by-step -step guidance that you need to achieve the life style of your dreams, visit uncommonsuccessbook.com. I'll catch you there or on the flip side. 
Online Marketing Made Easy podcast, hosted by Amy Porterfield, is brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals with a focus on online business, including digital courses, list building, content, and more. Online Marketing Made Easy breaks down big ideas and strategies into actionable step-by-step processes. A recent episode that will help you get more results with a whole lot less stress is on four ways to avoid burnout. Listen to Online Marketing Made Easy wherever you get your podcasts. Leveraging fractional staffing might just be the key to unlocking growth for you and your business. Get started today with an exclusive offer from Belay. Download their latest resource, The Power of Productivity, for free. Just text FIRE to 55123. That's F-I-R-E to 55123 to get started.